giving stacks over. Whereas 11, uh -oh. if he wants Mookie, to. Mookie, he's going to get cold feeded up and killed. The great ice shards from London to start it up, and that's paparazzi getting the kill. Middle lane. Don't miss this one. Okay, I won't. That's right. triple C is oh. getting caught low. Ori, the homing missile's on him. <laughs> eh, it's not going to do anything. Plus, Ori has 13 more charges anyway, so. Faith comes in. He's got the brain sap. Ori has no doppelganger. Good brain sap. He wand charges up. They oh, need one more auto attack. They will find second. it. So despite him having all those wand charges, they still get the kill. Kaka rolls himself out of trouble. The ice shards came through mid. Do they want to swap rolls? I mean, curious as to why Moogie rotated into this mid lane. Maybe just to drop down a couple of nether blasts. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Eleven will secure a kill on Kaka. All right, we're having some, we're having a rough time here. I think they correctly predicted that there was a rotation coming bottom, just because the supports weren't top because they had a ward there, and then they weren't mid. So I think they knew they were smoking bot. So he just wanted to leave and try and create a play mid. Toss back. Eleven looking at S Triple C. He's gonna get decrept. The cold feet comes in. He's fine. He'll pop the flak in and the snowball coming in. Ori about to get dropped down. They get one more auto attack. Should do it. Meantime, S Triple C still getting chased down. He's already used his wand charge. His rain drop back up in two. Might save his life. Mid lane has another ice shard ready to go. And S Triple C still getting chased, but alive for now. One more auto attack. That'll finally get the kill. And be yeah. honest. Snowball mid lane, S Triple C is going to get chased down. He'll drop the call down. They have the ice shards coming. Shaker's coming. He's got wand charges. He won't be able to use them, unfortunately, as Eleven comes through and tosses him up into the air. But Eleven will get traded. They even get the boulder smash on Alana. Nightmare comes in. The rolling Hold boulder them. actually goes over him because of the nightmare. But the static lane coming through. There's the Fisher. He's still linking damage. In fact, he's still linking up to 87 and more. Up to 100. Now KP, one more auto attack. Away, but the decrypt comes in at the perfect time. And now the life drain comes through as well. Ori making sure Mugi can't continue with his nether blast. And uh, the way that Ori waited too, or sorry, that uh, Eleven waited until Fenrir was in range of the Vortex helped uh, on that final bit of burst too. In the meantime, bottom dive comes out. As Triple C, they'll find Lanham as they get under the tower. That was without Fiend's Grip. He's almost level six. As Triple C's TP should complete, there's no way they can cancel. Oh, Eleven this might point. be dead top. Yeah, he's getting run out. They've got the life drain. They've got the Nether Blast coming in. He'll get dropped down. And now Fenrir as well is going to get caught in. Fisher and Chant Totem, Nether Blasted, see you later, later. Moogie gets the double kill, he's also got his Aether Lens now done. A lot of times you'll see a Pugna, uh, it's not uncommon to see a DK or something too, because uh -oh. you need that uh, Tower Gold. He's dead. Yeah, My he God. cannot farm very fast. And they're going to get the tier 1 tower bottom, actually, out of this. Although, Kaka is coming in. He's a haste rune. They want to get Ori. The boulder smash comes in, and Ori is not there. They instead found the tusk. The nightmare again as the rolling boulder They gave him the in. immunity. The snowball comes through as the fiend group was out. So, unfortunately, you know, if they kept Lanham nightmared... Uh, Eleven, likewise, uh, has not had a big reveal with his blink, and... Oh, uh, oh someone went into it. I Get him! I going to go on to Faith there. I thought Faith was just dead. Instead, he's going to look for the gyro. Oh, my God. He lived with, like, 10 HP, and then he gets off the... Ro oh, the rocket force. He stayed too long. 11 will die for this, but the ice shard snipe came in from that tusk. That was unbelievable that he survived in the first place. Meanwhile, Moogie takes the top tier one. S Triple C is about to get Ice Blast. Oh, yeah. It's going to hit. The Avalanche comes in. The call down came through. The Snowball. He's pretty speedy. They're going to bring him along. And they can't quite get it. The Acro Slam turn around from KP. The Enchant Totem. The Fisher coming in. They need more damage. Faith gets the grip off onto 11. That might be enough to get the kill. Moogie comes through with another blast. That should do the job with the Decrep on top. And Lanham, he's going to get homing missile. S Triple C is back in with a Rocket Barrage. This time, he won't fall to an Ice Shard. I, I think. Well, look at Lanham's positioning. If Gyro shows on this wave, they're going to... Oh, Paparazzi. He has no BKD available. Decrypt coming in the life drain. He is dead. Dead for 56. A killing spree taken away. That's going to be so much gold going newbie's way. It was the Radiant actually scanning, looking for Paparazzi. KP's about to run right into it, but the static link's going to come out. He didn't get the BKB up the time. They chance to it, but the snowball will de at least uh, kind of break this fight up for the most part. The shower uh, got the static link, and now S Triple C needs to be careful. The flat cannon's going. He's losing a lot of damage. There's the Fiend's Grip, though. Now the Ice Blast coming in. Eleven's going to blow up Faith. Kaka gets off a two-man boulder smash, and they get the kill onto the Razor. He's now down, and Lanham is going to be next. Ice Shards will come in. They need one more auto attack. The Snowball will keep him up for a moment. They might try to reinitiate here. The Eleven is thinking about coming in. Eleven throws the tree. Gets a double kill, actually, coming through. Fenrir is still looking for more. KP is going to be shadow emulated in the tree line. Mugi Avalanche. The Fisher will keep him alive for now. Oh, he needs creeps. to get out. Eleven's trying to whack up against SEC, but here comes Ori. He's in there. He's brought down Mugi. KP's cold feet might proc on him. He's going to stand there, but he's still shadow emulated up and Ori might fall. F Triple C one auto attack away. He's got the homing missile on him. He will get the kill. It's a double for S Triple C. And they can't quite find him. Ice Blast is back up in 18 seconds, so if they want to take a fight with that, they can. In the meantime, they don't have Ori. They found the Nightmare onto 11, who does have uh, a Shadow Blade, but that's it. They've got the Fiend's Grip. I don't know if there's any way they can cancel this. Plus, the Life Drain comes out and does so much damage. They've also found Fenrir, who's dead pretty much instantly. He does get glimmered for now. Much keep him live, actually. The magnetize is sticking him down slowly, though. Paparazzi will take down KP, surprisingly enough. Kaka's also getting run at, too. So this BKB for Paparazzi has done a lot of work. Ice Shards from Lanham really setting him up as well. 
Looking for Moogie, but again, he's so damn fast. It's going to be tough to take down. They need some more initiation. They don't have 11, who has the Blank Dagger. The Plasma Field just getting some vision onto Moogie. They'll drop the Nether Blast as well as the Life Drain and Decrep, but there's the Snowball. They don't do enough damage yet. Now on him, and he popped the Blade Mail, but he's already super low at this point. Moogie comes in. He's Glimmer. The Life Drain comes through with the Homing Missile. He'll fall. Paparazzi, rather, getting dropped down. Now it's Ori versus SCCC and Moogie at this point. This is not easy. The Ice Blast will hit nicely, and Ori might be able to get the kill onto SCCC. He can get the double kill. Moogie, the Life Drain coming out, and Ori will get oh. kicked down by it. Moogie gets a double kill. The Cold Feet Fenrir. Solo him, solo him, Fenrir. I believe in you. <laughs> Two more auto attacks. Don't worry about the life drain. I'm sure it's fine. The, the backstab from 11. He pops the Shadow Blade. He's ready to go. This vision is nice. Faith has no sentries. They're going to jump onto Faith, and he's just dead. I think the Ice Blast. Echo Slam, counter initiation from KP onto 2, plus the Magnetizer come in, and the Silence along with it. 11 will fall. They've got Paparazzi linking S triple C, though, and he will steal a fair amount of damage, about 120. Oh, but he knows when that BKB's down, he Moogie can't be near Pukka. to get this kill, and Paparazzi needs to run. The Decrypt Day get combination, and Paparazzi is dead. Cock is starting to work on the tower along with KP. Uh, this tier 3 will fall. They have Tiny back up in 1. They have Ori back in 10. Once Ori's up, I think you buy back on the Razor potentially. Otherwise, you just lose 2 sets. They might just lose 2 sets anyways. They're going to try with the Snowball. Here comes the Ice Blast. The Walrus Punch is up. KP actually avoids it, though. The Rocket Barrage S Triple C is in. They've already dropped down Lottom at Denver. It might be next. He does Glimmer keep in time. 11! He just TPs in and dies! He's got 5 back, luckily enough. But here comes Paparazzi. S Triple C will finally get caught. And they will only lose one set of racks. And that, that he just won't have damage in order to blow up these heroes. And their, their bait is on. Paparazzi has to pop the BKB, but the Ranger Axe is already gone. And Paparazzi, he can't even get a link off. He's going to get Fiend's Grip. And now he's probably just dead as he gets taken. And that's a dieback with him being dead for 80 seconds and more than likely going to be Arax, maybe Megas, and maybe game at this point for Newbie. There it is. Like, get me out. This was... You and I were concerned about the Earth Shaker, but boy, did KP step up when it really mattered. And honestly, Moogie just got a ton of farm and took control of this game. Invoker does not come online early. That this feels a bit risky. Very true. Path to level three. They weren't able to abuse early rockets into like black cannon or uh, rocket barrage and Magnetic lots field. of spells. Oh, he's supports. down in the field. He can maybe get this kill with one more auto attack, and he will. KP will secure first blood in this top lane. He's uh, he's actually going to do a lot of damage here too. Decrep comes out. Nyx is going to come in. He doesn't have impale. There's the nether blast. Moogie has to rage, but he dies. The the caustic and the auto attack of Lanham. Kaka will secure the kill. Oh, Kaka! Mangos. He gets the impale off. The mana burn comes out, but it's not enough damage to secure Lanham. Meanwhile, mid lane, newbie trying to find a fight onto Ori. They have the telekinesis. They will use it. Here comes oh, the meatball nice. combination. Oh, no. They didn't throw back. This is the impale hits the sun strike. Is it going to be enough? It misses as well. Both spells not hitting, and Ori will survive. Even though he's <laughs> taken a lot of damage, Kaka's going to get glimpsed back. He does have an impale, but unfortunately, can't get it off in time. He's on cooldown anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The Fairy Fire comes in, and Faith now also in trouble. The Kinetic Field, really good turnaround from Beachy to find these few kills. Lanham's going to burrow up. Maybe they can find S-Triple-C, the Flat Cannon going. They have Rocket Barrage at level 3. Lanham needs to be careful. He sticks up and stays alive, and S-Triple-C cannot find the kill. And Ori gets a double in the mid lane. Vici Gaming turning it around. Kaka is rotating back in. They have a really good ward to spot out Faith and the rest of Newbie rotating down here. They need to make this worth it, though. They need to start pushing down this tower and getting killed. I believe Faith is dead. Uh, life Drain. Dick will not come alive. And the Kinetic Field does too much work. Meanwhile, as Triple C killed... Yo, KP! Faith, uh, killed Paparazzi in the top lane with a Sunstrike, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he just ran him down. That's kind of insane. Cock up, Spike Carapace. They rotate another hero down into the bottom lane. Then we're still here. Moogie surviving, but they will get a double kill for 11. Ori is rotated in. The Burrow Strike, that'll be KP. He's in trouble. A lot of stick charges, but the Life Drain is gonna just suck him down, and Ori will secure a dominating spree for himself. And they're kind of going in one by one and just die, and now they will finally get Fenrir, but here comes the Epicenter. Faith needs to be careful. He didn't have enough mana for the Burrow Strike. He didn't do the math. The Wand Charges weren't enough. The Fade Bolt will come through, but still, they might find Faith anyways with another Blast. It's so much damage. They're just diving under the tower constantly. Moogie has to rage TP. Yeah, they often have wards down first. They see all these wards coming. Uh, Burrow Strike thing. trying to stop Moogie from getting the tier one tower, but it will only stop him momentarily. Moogie is really low, though, and the rest of the heroes are coming into the top lane for VG. Eleven's on the run. Burrow Strike onto Moogie. And Pale will hit up. They're trying to get the skill, but they might be staying too long. There's the Nether Blast. The Rage comes out. Lanham, the Life Drain coming in. The Static Storm. This could be big. Lanham will fall, but they will lose their Rupik as well. The Infest inside Kaka. The Sticks coming up. Paparazzi's Omni Slash. And now they're all in trouble. 
Boogie's gonna try to eat his way through. He's got a quad blade. He has used it to stop. Might save his life. The Earth Splitter coming in. KP oh, trying to back down. The sun Strike gets Fenrir. Eleven gets up the decrep in time. The homing missile's coming through. They've got the rocket barrage and paparazzi's there doing plenty of damage. And KP, yes, he saves the life of Moogie. All right, we're infested. We have Vendetta again coming. BGR smoked up themselves with Paparazzi and Fenrir, and Paparazzi can blow some of these heroes oh, up. Pugna's great. Yeah, no. they've got him. The Sun Strike, he's dead. Uh, they can maybe try to catch Moogie here with the Omni Slash. They certainly have it. They have the Burrow Strike to work with. He's going to Omni up, and Moogie is in some trouble. He's got wand charges, but he will not save his life. Perfectly timed to get in towards his Blink Dagger. Dude, that was intentional. He's got Blink now. Glimpse on the Kakat, too, unfortunately. They... But unfortunately for him, he has been found out. He will buy out before he dies, but he knows that his death is, of course. Ags is getting closer and closer. That Midas is on cooldown again, baby. In the meantime, Faith has to spin TP as Ori and the rest of the crew come through. The Burrow Strike as they see KP from the low ground. Lanham is now going to secure this one. And that's going to be another big kill. KP running. He's very close to BKB, but he will lose some money on the way there. And like I know the Jug and the Gyro are both farming. Those are pretty late game centric monsters that can oh, hold that thought. I think Lanham's just dead. Spin comes out. He does burrow himself away. Sunstrike, not there in time. Kinetic Field stops Moogie from going too far. He wants to get inside Faith and they will run away. The Decrypt came through. They'll drop the glimpse on him. He infests out. And now <laughs> See you, dude. He just left him there. <laughs> I'm not going back in there. <laughs> he's he's get a glimpse. <laughs> that was the funny thing. <laughs> he just glimpses him. He just jumps out. All right, bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, that's a hard life being the support. You get Poor dished. Alright, time for this tower to feel some pain. Get in the game. Dom? Gonna slow things down. Eleven gets to grip off. BKB the watch. We're 200 gold away, KP. He's so close. He doesn't want to. You can fight. do this. Oh no! Look at this ult. Back to the next assassin. Here comes the air splitter coming in. Static storm. They've already taken down one. The air splitter's not gonna do enough. Paparazzi's feeling pretty, pretty healthy. The stomp's gonna come through again. They haven't gotten the tower yet. Now the decrypt up onto KP. Please don't die. The life drink gonna come through the sun strike. Got it, dude. Gets the kill on the pugna, but still, KP is in trouble. He's gonna try to fight Paparazzi who's solo. Mugi wants the kill. He can't fight it. The earth taking him down. It's three dead. S Triple C finally running through the fight, but it'll be too little, too oh, late. Paparazzi Mugi lives. Is gonna get caught and killed as the urn. Trying to get a plate mail next. Interestingly enough, maybe oh, go AC. I don't know. Dude, this is such a good fight. We're ready yeah, for the BKB on the gyro. Tornado's gonna fly on through. This Roche is not dead yet. Or a goal, man. Coming in. There's the call down. Static Storm onto two, but the Yule Sifter's there for Kaka, and it's actually made him enough time for them to get Roshan, and now KP's running in. He KP wants the damage, KP. He's got plus 189 damage. They've already lost two, though. It's time to TP with his BKB, and he will be able to get out, but... Tier 2 Tower in the mid lane getting assaulted, and it should fall. They, the Glyph will go. They have no Ruby for 15, no Kaka, Nyx Assassin for another 15. They'll TP bottom with Lanham. He's looking to set up onto S Triple C. There's the Burrow Strike. Maybe they can find the skill. The Sandstorm goes through, they but have they, the don't have, uh, they don't have Fenrir. Oh, we didn't here. use it in time. They need detection. Uh, he has it on Dust. He finally will. And maybe they can find the skill, but they're going to turn this. Now Fenrir's the one that's in trouble. He has no Static Storm, and he is just dead. Epicenter's getting channeled, but he gets pushed back. And that deafening blast, the disarm along with the blink cancel was absolutely insane. Moogie Bull Dude, he couldn't TP see out. That was incredible. 40 seconds or so. Ori, Blink Burrow has been found with faith. They've got the telekinesis. No, it was on the creep. The cataclysm comes out. They've taken down the huge kill onto that gyrocopter. They will lose faith. I don't think they're really that concerned. KP has popped his own BKB looking for Paparazzi. His Omni Slash is still available. He'll drop the healing ward down. There's the Manta style coming in, and now KP turns his attention to Fenrir. The Glimmer Cape will come in. The Stomp's about to come through. Great epicenter, though. That's the Aegis Gone, and Moogie might be next. He's going to need to invest it. He can't find a target to do so. As Triple C has rotated in, the Omni Slash is now down. The Glimpse back. They want this kill on Paparazzi. The Decrypt. They've got the Ghost Walk, though, with Paparazzi. He's got Blink in one. He can maybe get out of this. He's going to go for the TP, and S Triple C will need to guess correctly, but he can't even get off any spells. In the meantime, back in the fight, they're Gonna lose another hero. It's Kaka getting dropped down as the Pugna comes in with another blast. And Vici will take the fight. I think Ori they can is do it. being hunted down here. He needs to be very careful. And Pale comes out. The Sun Strike, the Open Wounds. That is a dead gyrocopter. So they will get the kill on Faith, but whatever. Uh, Eleven might be dead. Spike Carapace comes. There's the oh, that was Strike. Nice. And Pale. And they, they just don't have Lanham there. Paparazzi's gonna get Yules. The Deafening Blast comes in. It actually misses on Paparazzi. The Fable, the Earth Splitter. They need to be careful. There's the Glimpse Static Storm's back, and Moogie might be in trouble. Omni Slash is gonna get shared by KP. This is gonna be a lot of damage, and Moogie will fall for sure. 
Now they're gonna look for S Triple C who's in trouble. Good impale coming out. Paparazzi's That's out. Stolen of He's in trouble. KP is slapping him down in face. Gets a double kill. They'll take down the gyrocopter. A lot of them will do a lot of work. The burrow strike, but it's not enough to bring down S Triple C. They've got the Yule Scepter. It's gonna be all five dead for Vici Gaming just like that. KP finally coming in with the slaps. I just finished oh, second. Oh, Faith, he's got the Omni there. still. There what? Is. This is a Aghanim's Omni coming out. Here we go. Cold snap onto Ori. The siege continues. Boogie does a lot of damage at this point with MKB, S and Y, and Armlet not even toggled on. He has Aegis. He's not really concerned about dying at this point. Oh, he gets he the Burrow. Up. Good split. They have now the Burrow strike. Watch the Aghanim's. And there's the Static Storm. Maybe he can steal that too if he would like. Faith, he's thinking about it. He has the spell seal, but he walks back into the silence. Fenrir does get off the Glimmer Cape in time, and Faith is going to look a different direction to try to find something else. Epicenter's going to get channeled, and SCCC needs to be a little careful. What a Yule's into a BKB. Absolutely stunning play from SCCC to make sure that Lanham can't get much done there. Moogie's going to get off his Rage, looking for Ori, who gets pushed back into the base. The Aegis has dropped down, but already the damage is being dealt. Lanham buys back, but he might die just as quickly as he comes back into the fray. Now down for 80 seconds, a dieback for the Pugna. And Rubik will have to do the same for Anubi as they want to finish this game off as quickly as possible. They've already taken the top racks. And Vici Gaming are maybe moments away from losing this series. Anubi just trying to finish this off. They have SCCC with HEs. With the Ghost Walk with the level uh, Max Wex. And but, like, Vici, I don't know. They didn't really attack towers with a Pugna. They didn't do anything with a BKB Razor last game. It felt like they were just playing responsibly to Anubi and losing. Lanham will fall next. They've got the Hex now onto the Disruptor as well. The Burst Strike comes through from Faith, which was stolen. Paparazzi will get off his Omni Slash. I'm not sure how much it's going to do. Does that mean do. Faith will Maybe too? they can get S-Triple-C, but the Impale will go, and that's Paparazzi dead. Oh, come on. Faith, get in there. GG. <laughs> he uses it on the creeps. <laughs> nice. That was a fitting way to end the series for Faith. Congratulations, Sanubi. They will be your Chinese Qualifier champions here as they move on to the Dream League.